I'm um, with Gerus and Associates. It's just an amendment or something new. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Courtney Baldwin with Gerus and Associates, and I'm here with the developer, Joseph Simpson, with Capital Hotel Associates. And he is proposing to construct a full service hotel in downtown that will be under the West End franchise. And what's here before you in your packet is a resolution to authorize a public hearing to be held for this project for tax increment financing. Okay, uh, so it's been moved. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor of? Uh, question. Question? You said tax increment financing? Yes, sir. Okay, on the Western project? Yes, sir. And what would be the, uh, uh, the amount? The amount would be not to exceed um, $1,750,000. Is that 30%, 25%, 75%? It would be 50% of the county's general fund mortgage. Okay. okay. Uh, is this connected in any way to uh, the uh, $20 million that? No. Uh, okay. Because I have a question about this, President Brown, um, this and that. Okay. All right, uh, Mr. Hunt. Uh, my question is, when I was trying to get an understanding of tax increment finance, it, it, got, it has a clause in there that says that all the money is that the developer spends on infrastructure, um, street, parking, will have to be paid back by the county from all of the funds that they levy on the tax increment finance district. And I was trying to see where that benefits the county with as much as involvement that the development is asking the county to be involved. It almost put us in Uh, forever and ever land of gaining the benefit. And also there's a little segment over there that says that this if this tax increment financial district been approved to generate the fund that we have to pay the developer back. Can you expand on that a little bit? Sure, I'd be happy to. I'm gonna answer your second question first. Um, the resolution that's before you is to authorize a public hearing which has to be held before the TIF plan can be approved. And the boundaries of the TIF plan are described, or the boundaries of the TIF district are described in the TIF plan, um, as well as the project, the scope, the duration of the TIF. Um, but to answer your first question, it is only the increment of taxes that can be used to service the debt on the bonds. So if the property is at a tax level A, and through the creation and construction of the development that it raises the tax base to be, then it's only the, the increment of taxes that can be used to service the debt on the bonds. And so if the increment isn't created, no bonds can be issued to reimburse the developer, developers. And the $1.75 million is the not to exceed amount. So even though Mr. Simpson might put in 11, 12, 13, 14 million dollars in infrastructure costs, all that would be allowable is 1.75 million dollars of eligible costs. And those costs are defined in statute, they'll be in the TIF plan, but they are things, as you mentioned, water, sewer, drainage, any sort of public in nature infrastructure um, that can only be reimbursed through the increment of taxes <coughs> that are generated from the construction of the project. Okay. Uh, Dr. Walker. Uh, this is Dr. Walker wanted the resolution, but this is uh, only for the advertisement, so we don't have it. Uh, is there not a resolution for? We're just asking. You're asking for advertisement, so you do have it. Yes. Okay. This uh, would just be um, to ask the boards. Uh, authority and approval to to 
run the notice in the in the newspaper as required by law, and then the next time we come back, it will be to hold the public hearing and to actually approve the TIF plan with the parameters that, that you're asking about. All those in favor of? Mr. President. Question from Mr. Stokes. Okay, now this is the Western Project again, right? Yes, sir. Could you please give us some kind of time frame? Uh, you know, you come in, we're doing TIF, you come in, we're doing this, and we still haven't got our money for a bill. Okay. And we keep paying utilities off. So, you know, if you feel like we we hanging out here on the limb, soon as something will happen correctly in your process, then y'all out of this deal and we stuck with the building that we probably be using. So give us a time frame to show us when everything's gonna happen. I feel better if you're gonna pay us out, you know, if, if that's possible. Because it, it just don't seem like we're getting treated fairly in this deal. Now, suppose we try to raise our price for this bill, then you're gonna say we are being unfair. So again, the TIF and, and, and the things you're saying about the TIF, it's okay, but when will construction begin? When will we get through with you coming through for us as for more money from us in the city? And we're not seeing anything. You know, when is this hotel supposed to be completed? You know, give us some information on those things because we haven't heard any of that. At least I have. Yes, sir. I'd be happy to answer uh, anything you'd like. Again, Shaz of Simpsons, one of the lead developers. With the hotel, we've got. Pretty much, I mean, we're at the goal line right now. Uh, state bonds, we uh, requested the drawdown on those. That should come. I'm telling, I've been told the bond bill should happen in October. When that happens, we're ready to close on all parcels of land besides the Mississippi Valley title building. I mean, we've got three and a half million dollars of land costs, and I mean, it's just a risk return thing. We don't want to stick our head out and buy three, four million dollars worth of land unless we've got a complete deal. So, I mean, we're looking October, November to close. It's going to take us about four months of architecture drawings to finalize. And then the first quarter of next year, under construction, and 15 to 18 months of uh, construction time, hopefully closer to 15. Thank you, Mr. President. Dr. Walker. Uh, with all due respect to uh, the young man, young man here, um, and I've worked with these before, but I'm accustomed to getting resolutions and things like this before uh, the time to vote on. But at the end, and the questions that we have to ask, how long is it going to be? And, and things like that, I cannot support it. Uh, give it to me in time. Give me a chance to read it. Sure. Okay. I apologize. Um, typically, I, I get all the documents to, to the county um, in advance. I don't know how they're distributed among in your packets or whatnot, but I will make sure that um, I take extra precautions to get all the documents to you um, well, well, well in advance for next, for next time. How long is it? How long uh, will this be in effect? Um, the duration of the TIF that's requested would be 15 years. 15 years. Okay. All of We want to compare it to our county administrator. Can you address the concern? Uh, well, I believe the information is submitted to the board attorney, and the board attorney submits it to the county administrator for distribution to the board members. And if, if it was submitted to uh, us in the timely fashion that we submit the exhibits to you, it should have been in your packet. Okay. And I did not know that. I apologize. Okay. All right. So did you submit the information to the board attorney? All those in favor of? Opposed to? No. no. Motion passes. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Um, I'm not voting for today. Okay. I want to have a chance to read this thing. Okay. We have two, um, four, and three against. So uh, motion fails. Um, and uh, what I would suggest that you do in the event that the motion fails is to contact uh, Dr. Walker and to make sure that he's comfortable what uh, uh, you're submitting. Okay? Uh, is that what you uh, need, Dr. Walker? And let's, let's um, we go back to the motion, and this is tabled in front of the but I'm not going to vote on it unless I've had a chance to read it. And I think that's the responsible thing. 
So would you like to uh, withdraw your vote and to have it come back later in the board meeting uh, after you've had an opportunity to review this? I have a technical question to ask. Uh, maybe what I didn't vote for, so I could make a motion to That's correct. Well, I would make the motion to reconsider based on the fact that um, I voted for it. So what we'll do is we'll go back to this particular issue, correct me if I'm wrong, Greta, and we'll table this issue until later on in the agenda. And then we'll bring it back uh, for a subsequent uh, reconsideration. And then we'll go from there. Thank you very much. If you would just uh, hang around and meet with Dr. Walker. Can make you carry the motion to reconsider? Okay. So, okay, we need to carry the motion to reconsider all in favor of? Right. Opposed to? No. Right. Motion to reconsider passes. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll Thank now you. go from there to um, try to move things along here. We'll go to the. Election Commission. Uh, Ms. Cochran, if you would come back up, you